I think the destination of the moon is super exciting for the future of human spaceflight, and obviously we haven't been there for a long time. Our primary contribution is through NASA's Flight Opportunities Program, in which we fly experiment packages up to suborbital space. What's very exciting is that our uh, sister company, Virgin Orbit, is going to be able to start launching small satellites up towards lunar orbit as well, uh, using a new kick stage. And so we'll be able to uh, contribute both in the sort of prototype testing of experiments as well as actual, actually sending experiments into lunar orbit. On a personal level, obviously, we haven't actually left low Earth orbit since I've been alive, right? So I was born in 1974, uh, just after we uh, ended the Apollo program, uh, or at least the lunar part of the Apollo program. And so, you know, it's about time. We need to explore. It's part of our DNA. And so I'm, I'm excited that we're building a program that can enable us to do that. Well, I think the very exciting thing about this moment in time is that we are at the verge of a revolution in commercial spaceflight. And um, that will have manifold benefits for people on Earth. We're going to be able to fly hundreds and eventually thousands of people into space. We're going to enter in a period where almost everybody knows someone who's been to space. And I think that perspective shift where uh, you go into space and you look down on our planet and you understand the fragility of our Earth's ecosphere is going to be a tremendously powerful paradigm shift for the planet over the coming years. And at Virgin Galactic, obviously, we hope to make a major contribution to that shift.